Hi, I'm John Hinchy, and in this video, looking at Dorico from the perspective of those of us who know Sibelius very well, we'll be looking into the equivalence of page text and page layout, as well as an overview of the engraved workspace in Dorico. Being a Sibelius user, you are used to note input as well as score and part layout all being done in the same workspace. This is one of those aspects of the process you're going to have to look at a bit differently in Dorico. When you are ready to lay out the score and parts in Dorico, you switch to the engrave workspace. In Sibelius, when you're doing part and score layout, you can still change the musical content of the score. You can change pitches, rhythm, dynamics, and more. In Dorico's engrave workspace, your musical content is locked and cannot be changed, but you can change its position and other aspects of its appearance. While you're in the engrave workspace, if you do need to change the pitch of a note, for example, just double click on the note and it will take you right back to the right workspace. Your first question may be, what's with all the boxes? Dorico separates items on the page into three types of frames, music frames, text frames, and graphics frames. By default, you will have blue music frames and green text frames. Music frames contain staves and music notation content. The text frames are like system text in Sibelius used for page text items. Let's start with page text. In Sibelius, if you go to the file info, you can input much of the relevant page related information for your score. In Dorico, the same is found in project info. An important distinction to know here is the difference between project and flow. Flows are useful for many situations such as a multi-movement piece, but dare I say for a majority of situations you will only have one flow. So just ignore the flow and make sure project is highlighted in blue and you're inputting the project info. These items will be auto-filled in Sibelius if you have wildcards associated with those slots. In Dorico, wildcards are called tokens with the equivalent effect. In Sibelius, you can add system text directly into the score and the change is reflected globally in the score and the parts. This is one habit you'll need to change. To make a change globally in Dorico, your templates need to be changed here in the right zone. The template first is for page one, your title page. Default is for all pages that follow. To create a new instance of page text, you need to create a new text frame. So let's add a footer to the default pages with the artist's name. The next step is important. Go to the top of the page and click Copy Page Layout so the left and right pages will both have the footer. Now that the page text is set, let's edit the page layout. In Sibelius, you'd go to Document Setup for this. The equivalent in Dorico can be found in Layout Options. In Sibelius, these options apply to the score or part you have open. In Dorico, choose the layout on the right or you can choose all or several layouts and make global changes. Open page setup and you will see many similar items included in the Sibelius document setup window. Page size. Now space size is the same as staff size in Sibelius. Page margins. Music frame margins can be thought of as staff margins in the Sibelius document setup. To change the spacing between staves and systems in Sibelius, it's under engraving rules, staves. In Dorico, it's still in layout options and it's called vertical spacing. The equivalent of Sibelius space between systems is intersystem gap. Sibelius has manual system and page break commands. The Dorico equivalent is system and frame breaks. Those commands can be found in the left zone of the engrave workspace. To review, page text in Dorico is applied using text frames. Most of the aspects of Sibelius's document setup are found in layout options in Dorico. For manual formatting, 
System breaks are system breaks. Page breaks in Sibelius are called frame breaks in Dorico. In the next video, we'll look at the Play workspace and some other Sibelius equivalents in Dorico. Thank you.